Hello, we're going to be using Illustrator to just make some icons and I'll show you a bit about the flow, a nice way to export them. New file for this, I'm just going to go for 512 by 512. It's good to keep things square and within the parity ratio. So we've got one artboard, this is the artboard tool here, shift O. I can double click on that and name it. Maybe I want to do something like T underscore for texture, <clears throat> UI icon. So you can name them all here and then just go cross, call it cross. Right, I'm just gonna make a basic icon just for the sake of uh, this tutorial. Copy, control C, control F, paste it right on top. So there's a second one. R to rotate, hold shift. There you go, you've got two, two shapes. Um, just align them. Align to selection, align to artboard. Hey, they seem aligned. Okay, um, so just alt drag to that artboard. And call that one mm, check. got a cross, we've got a check. Um, what else do we want? Basic icon set. Um, and I'm going to duplicate the, the cross one because it's got more potential for me. Um, let's do a minus. And in a similar way, like an equal sign. Okay, make sure we've named all these. You can just do it in the artboards layer. So obviously we double, double click on them, edit the name. This one, minus or dash tick, cross, it'll do for now. So if you're exporting for Unreal, you probably want these white because it enables you to change the color in engine. So I'm just going to make them white. Unfortunately, now I can't see them. So with the artboard selected, I probably want to view and then show transparency grid here. It's annoyingly kind of hidden away. Um, it's kind of the default thing that I want. That makes them trickier to see. If you're having problems seeing white things, you can press Control Y, and it just shows you the outline view. Anyway, our artboards are still there. You can't see it when you've got the outline view going, I think. Yes, you can. Okay, so I'm just going to go File, Export, Export for Screen. It's still in the outline view in there, which is a bit misleading because it wouldn't actually export in the outline view, I don't think. So you can't really see these here because they're white. So I'm just going to make everything go uh, back to a, a default color, I think. Just make it easier to see. Export for screens. And you pick where you want to drop them. Okay, in this case, the desktop. We say, do we want to create a subfolder? Okay, let's create a subfolder. And say I just want the minus, I could just say three. Or say I just wanted the minus and the equals, I could do three dash four. So that's really good if you've got multiple, many, many art boards. Let's just show you this before um, we stop. If you had your art boards all chaotic, you can go to your artboards panel and go rearrange all artboards and it makes them all neat again so the teachers don't go cross with you and um, right let's export them all desktop let's say we want a png 
we also want them really big for the PNG. Let's just call that big instead of times three. Um, let's just do a times two. So that'd be 5, 12, 10, 24. So let's just call it 10, 24 for that one. And we can make, uh, we can add uh, SVGs and um, we could add PDFs, we could add JPEGs. Obviously it's white, so it probably won't show up as a JPEG. It will just be, oh, they're not white. They didn't really, right. Let's just add some JPEGs just for fun. Okay, I'm um, gonna export. Now this is opened on my other window. Subfolders for the different sizes. A little bit fiddly. So let's pretend we didn't do that. And uh, just go to file export and I'm gonna uncheck the create subfolders. This will probably just drop them in the root. There they are. But there are your files just as you need. I hope that's useful. Cheers, guys.